What's happening, y'all? It's me coming back at you again with another vid. Well, John Molina Jr. came overweight. And what's surprising, he came way over the weight by four pounds. <laughs> wow, four pounds. And he's um, scheduled to fight Terrence Crawford for the, um, well, supposed to fight him for the uh, unified linear and uh, um, WBC and WBO light welterweight titles, which is going to be broadcast on HBO this Saturday, which is going to be a lot of great fights happening tomorrow. Man, going to be a lot to cover. A lot to cover. So um, this was reported at 1.58 um, p.m. Pacific time. So Molina had two hours from that time to go ahead and burn off the weight, which right now is 3.44 on the West Coast time, 6.44 on Easter time. So he has about 14 minutes to come back and see if he can drop the weight. But if he cannot make the weight, two things is going to happen. Either the fight will be called off or um, what I've seen from, um, from reports that the fight will be um, expected to go on. Um, but um, in a situation like that, Molina will have to uh, forfeit a uh, certain percentage of his purse. So typically that's what happens. Um, however, there have been some instances where fights did get called off due to uh, an opponent or, you know, due to an opponent coming, um, coming into the fights overweight. Now, two instances, Ricardo Mayorga versus uh, Jose Rivera. Uh, back in 2004, the fight was scheduled for the uh, welterweight uh, WBA, reg WBA regular title. Now, mind you, Mayorga was getting a title shot coming off a loss against uh, Corey Spinks for the unified undisputed um, welterweight titles. And Mayorga came in over, what, six pounds over the weight limit. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> six pounds. And... That was very astonishing, and I think Mayorga at the time didn't care about trying to burn off the weight, and obviously if he did try, I don't, I can't see how he could burn off six pounds in a couple hours, but he didn't bother burning off the weight. Um, the fight did get called off. However, Don King, knowing Mayorga was one of his biggest uh, draws in cash cows at that time, even though he wasn't a big, big cash cow, he was a draw in the cash cow, Mayorga uh, was still granted it you know was granted a permission to fight on the date that King reserved his um, fight to be scheduled for Rivera for that WBA title against a journeyman by the name of um, uh, who was the guy he fought? Eric Mitchell. Yeah, when he fought Eric Mitchell, and Mayorga struggled in that fight. <laughs> it was a it was an exciting fight, but he struggled against him, and that journeyman made him look bad. And from that point, you know, Mayorga was undisciplined. He uh, it all stems from the fact that he did. He was very disgruntled about that loss that he suffered against Corey Spinks, which many people, some people felt he was robbed from the decision. He was treated unfairly by the official who didn't score two knockdowns for him in that fight and deducted points for him, which he felt that was unnecessary. But anyways, I'm getting a little off topic here. Um, there was another situation where Eddie, Stoffa, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad was scheduled to fight uh, Michael Spinks for the uh, light heavyweight title back in 83. And that fight got called off due to the fact that uh, Muhammad couldn't even... Um, Mustafa Muhammad couldn't make the weight. He came in two and a half pounds over the weight limit, and he was instructed to lose the weight in two hours, and he couldn't burn it off. Um, so, yeah, um, again, Molina has about, what, eight minutes now? <laughs> we'll see uh, what the latest result of the latest um, reporting on this matter and see if he can make the weight. But if he can't, some are going to cite that, you know what, he's being lazy, he's being undisciplined, he didn't even, he's not, he didn't take it seriously, he had two months. Well, I mean, I beg to differ on that a little bit, but and let me tell you why. I think Molina is disciplined, I think he cares. I just think, to me, from what I've seen from that Ruzan Provotnik fight, the last fight that he had, his last prior fight, he weighed in around 160, 162 that night, and... To me, that was an indication that he was struggling to get down to 140. I'm just being honest. I think to me, he was struggling to get down the weight because he really re he rehydrated close to 20 pounds into that fight. He looked like the middleweight in there against Provotnikov. And to be fair, Provotnikov came in around that same weight as well that night. So um, I think it's just an indication that he just can't make the 140 limit, um, 40 pound limit anymore from the indication right now. Even if he does burn off the extra four pounds, I just think that he, we won't see Molina, uh, Molina Jr. again at this weight after the Crawford fight. 
I'm just being honest. I think that's what it is. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and, then, uh, and I forgot to mention also, I just don't see any indications where Molina's ever had trouble, has ever missed weight before. I haven't seen any, um, any, any, um, uh, any other prior fights that he has missed weight. So, I mean, if anyone does have any information on that, I could be wrong now. If anyone has information on him missing weight on prior fights, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, so, yeah. So we'll find out in the next eight minutes and see uh, how much weight he did burn off. Hopefully he did burn off the four pounds so he can go ahead and fight for the titles, which, again, I don't see him winning it. But, again, Molina Jr. has pulled off some upsets. He pulled off a recent upset against Ruslan Provodnikov, and he pulled off an upset by knocking out my, um, Mickey Bay in the last round of that fight uh, a few years back. So, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Care to comment, share, subscribe, signing off. Peace.